Hi everyone, it's PhD Simmer here and welcome back to The Sims 4 Not So Berry Challenge Generation 3 Yellow. Wow, that is a title and a half. Um, if you saw the end of the last episode, you will know exactly what is going on here. If you didn't, you need to go back, you need to rewatch, you need to rewind because a lot happened in the last part. Um, for a quick catch up for anyone who doesn't remember or hasn't seen it and doesn't want to go back and watch it, are you crazy? <laughs> Amber went to Six Sam, she came back. It's love day number two. I don't know why we're having several love days in the season, but it's love day again. Spencer called her up, invited her out on a date. Riley has completely slipped Amber's mind right now and they had a nice date and they came back to Amber's place and decorated the house to celebrate love day and decided to skinny dip in the pool. And this is where we are continuing from and things are getting pretty darn steamy between these two. Amber's just jumped out of the pool. She's like, I'm not getting dressed. I've got no shame to hide. I'm gonna come and serve some lunch for everybody. We're gonna make, um, Oh, uh, what would we make? Let's make some tofu tacos. She's gonna cook, she's got no shame. Spencer's chilling out in the pool. She has not told him yet about her being able to get to Six Sam. So that is a decision that she is toying with right now. Um, whether she wants to do that or not. Like if she does, Spencer will be leaving because he has wanted nothing more than to get home for the last, um, you know, however long, but um, Amber's kind of thinking, well, if he goes, what's going to happen here? Because we have got some romance going on, basically. She sees a future with him, and if he just fizzles off to 6am, then what's going to happen? So she's been a bit selfish, but she, she hasn't decided yet that she's not going to tell him. It's just she hasn't told him right now. Romaine's jogging past. Good job we are now out of the pool. <laughs> Though we are standing naked by our kitchen window, which is probably not the best job. <laughs> He's having a little boogie. We're all, everything is good. I think you should probably put your clothes on since Spencer has put his on. Maybe we could just put our swimwear on. I don't even know what our swimwear is. Oh, it's this really cute one. Yay. Okay, we're going to um, call to the meal. We're going to serve up some tofu tacos to everybody. Oh, I don't know what is with the flate, plate, flate, 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 what? plate floated in our house it always happens it usually happens when you've got mc commander on but i did turn it off oh no well we can repair that after we've had dinner because we are very good with our handiness skill so we're going to call him to a dinner he's having a right old booby <laughs> i think he's love drunk <laughs> he's like she's like come and have some dinner you silly fool <laughs> she this is the perfect time to tell him about six sam he's gonna wonder if she doesn't why he why she hasn't told him Oh yeah, I forgot to say I gave her this little custom tattoo, which is a little sun and planet. So um, that is reblogged on my Tumblr if you want it. It's phdsimmer.tumblr.com or whatever the Tumblr. It's phdsimmer on Tumblr. We're going to ask if he's single, just double check he hasn't um, got anyone else on the cards. But he has really only got eyes for her right now, which is lovely. Going to share the love day spirit. Um, and we're gonna uh, ask a risque yeah, question. <laughs> oh, they're so adorable together. Oh. I do want them to have their first kiss today as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, what else could we do <laughs> when we don't have to get up from the table? Um, we're gonna flirt with him. Just a simple flirt. Maybe we could change the music channel. I don't know if there's a romance channel. Change to maybe like latin romance there is a romance channel let's turn that music up uh change volume to oh it's already on high okay oh they're so adorable we're gonna flirt one more time he's flirting back oh i like the way they started it slow and then they had one little date and they just went oh to hell with it he likes me, I like him, there's no doubts anymore. We're gonna confess our attraction to him, hopefully he's okay with that. Sometimes that's a little bit of a risky move. He's like, me? Really? Even though I'm an alien? She's like, I don't care about that, I've never cared about that. Which is probably, again, why he loves her. So we are going to go for... Oh my god, first kiss! I'm so excited. 
I'm gonna have her change her outfit into her space wear. He just feels comfortable in her home, I like that. I like how comfortable he is. Oh my god, we've got the romantic music, we've got the romantic decorations, everything is... Everything is working for these two. Look at him, he's just like, what's going on here? She's like, don't you worry about it, my friend. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh, look at his little shocked face. He's just like, really? Wow. <laughs> that was amazing. They had their very first kiss. Oh, let's hold hands. I hope he's not got the book hand glitch. No, he hasn't. Awesome. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, do you want to see what this kiss under the missy? Oh, who in the rocket ship? Oh, he's glowing. He's glowing. Oh my God, let's caress his cheek. She is like, I cannot tell him about Six Sam because he will leave and I am completely in love with him. Oh my gosh. Oops. Kiss under the mistletoe. I kind of want to see what this is about. The romantic music is playing. This is just so perfect. He is under her spell for sure. And she is, oh, no, my little heart can't take it. My little heart can't take it. <laughs> Oh my god, look at them. They are totally just feeling this love day for sure. Oh What's up with him? What's this reaction? What's going on here, Spencer? <laughs> what? What's that reaction? I don't know what that was about. We are going to kiss his neck and I think we are going to ask him to change into his his alien where she wants to see the real Spencer. Look how cute they are. I freaking love them so much. Um, yeah, we're going to ask him. I don't know if we can do this or we can just change him ourselves. Let's see. Uh, MC Commander. Um, sing commands. Let's see. Remove disguise. Oh my God. We're going to say she's asked him to remove his disguise. And she's like, you are so cute in your own way. Look at him. This is probably the first time he's ever shown anyone his human, his uh, alien look. Maybe not even Brent and Brent, who is his adopted parents. We're going to give him a passionate kiss whilst he's in his alien wear. Oh. I love this. This is like such a cute little story that's happened between these two. He looks so happy. She's like, let's go on a, let's go on a woohoo in the rocket ship. We're going to oh, travel through the wormhole. No, she's not going to tell him. She's not going to tell him. Amber, you're going to live to regret this decision. I think, you know, in the short term, it's great. But in the long term... <laughs> In the long term, he is going to be angry if he finds out you lied, for sure. I love the fact that he's in his alien form when they woohoo. I think that's really cool. I think she's just totally open to that. No qualms whatsoever. Is he in his alien form in his little spaceship suit? Yeah, look at him. Look at him. He's like, you go in first, girl. I can't wait to see this. What a romance these two have had. Oh, the tree's in the way. No. Look how pink and look how confident he's just strutting his stuff. Oh my God. I need to. Get a screenshot of that. They are so confident. Look at him. He's going to pop on his human um, disguise just because he's not that comfortable being in um, public. But there we go. Um, what? No, I didn't mean to humanise him. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I didn't mean to do that at all. Uh-oh. 
that's fine. <laughs> I may have to change up his alien form if I, if it hasn't changed that. But yeah, I meant to just put him in his uh in his alien out of his alien wear. Through modern advances, so Spencer is now an alien. Well, no, he he never was. I was just fixing a mistake. <laughs> but look at these two. Oh, <laughs> they are so adorable. I love it. I love it. Okay, so she's gonna ask him to uh, let's embrace him actually <laughs> just walking around just like whoa what just happened there oh the spice vessels in town we're not gonna head to that um we are going to we're gonna ask him to be our boyfriend we're gonna flirt with him a little bit oh they're together now i think i think they are together yeah it looks like a what is going on here Please explain. I don't know. I don't know have an explanation for that. Spencer just became the boyfriend of Amber. Okay, I think we're going to um, come and repair the bathroom. And mop up the floor. How, how lovely after you've woohooed and you now have to go back to mundane. After a lovely day, we have to go back to mundane life tasks. <laughs> The romance station's quite cute. I like it. Oh, she is so quick at repairing things right now. She's gonna take a shower. Spencer's just stood by this rocket ship, just thinking like, one day I'll return home. But what does that mean for you and Amber? I don't know. He's like grabbing some more. He needs his energy after that. Grabbing some more of those fish tacos. We're gonna turn this down. <laughs> We're gonna change this to medium. Bless her, she's so cute. Come on Amber, out the shower, greet your mum. <laughs> the awkward while Spencer's still here to catch up on the gossip, but uh, we're gonna talk about the rain. How boring. <laughs> Share some photos, we're gonna say, look mum, we managed to make it to six hand, wouldn't Grandma Cherry be so proud? But please don't say anything in front of Spencer. Poppy's gonna be like, mm, not sure that's a good idea my 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 girl but whatever it's your decision uh, <laughs> day a bit. she's like i can't believe he made it <laughs> cherry would be so happy to know that she got to six <laughs> spencer's like oh i don't really want to have to meet the mother-in-law right this second so i'm gonna go take a shower <laughs> he certainly made himself at home i like that She's not gonna invite him to move in, they're just dating at the minute. She's gonna have a little gossip with her mum, catch up. She'll be like, I heard a rumour that you were caught skinny dipping in the garden. She'll be like, ah, oh, I don't know where that rumour came from. It's a complete lie. And Poppy's gonna be like, mm-hmm, you take after me more ways than you probably would like to. <laughs> they're so cute though. She's happy, I love that. Um, I wanna... Let's have a deep conversation about the fact that she hasn't told him about Six Sam yet. She will have to tell him eventually. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out. See you later. Bye, Spencer. I love the way. Did he run out the back door? I think he did. Just like, uh, that's. I don't want to avoid <laughs> meeting Cherry right now. Okay, it's morning and Amber is feeling a little bit guilty and a little bit sad about her current predicament. Obviously, she's very pleased to be with Spencer right now, but she's starting to feel a bit like, oh, have I made a massive mistake by not telling him? I feel very guilty. Who's this? Uh, who are you? Oh, I haven't turned headline. Sai. We're going to greet him because he seems like a cool dude. And like reasonably well looking and well dressed for uh, uh, an in-game sim. <laughs> Not to be rude, Maxis, but there we go. Or EA, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we're just going to greet him. I do want her to have like some friends. No, we're not going to flirt. You're taken. <laughs> Love day is, is over. You can go back to being yourself. I just think he looks pretty cool and I want her to have some friends. I think what we're going to do is t today is give... Um, Oh, we're gonna give uh, Juliet a call and we're gonna invite her over to come and hang out at our place um, and just tell her. I feel like she wants to confide in someone. Um, Poppy wasn't exactly enthusiastic about her plan. I feel like she wants somebody to say, yeah, you're doing the right thing. Like, 
you can't send him off into a rocket into space not knowing that it's completely upgraded and safe. That's what she wants to hear, but I don't know if anyone's going to tell her that. So, Okay, so we've met someone quite cool. Um, I kind of want to add him because I want... Well, look at all these people in their little um, outfits. Who do I want to get rid of? Um, We don't really know Kieran that well, so we're going to add in... We could add in Riley for a little bit of... Uh, interest I guess. she doesn't have a romantic uh, bar with Riley I don't think let me just see where he is where's Riley can I see him can I see him can I see him uh I don't see him where is he oh there he is no they're just friends he was a uh, an option we're gonna clean our plate up did she say she was coming over oh there's Poppy Poppy's like on her morning jog and she's like how are you feeling uh this morning pops and she's probably gonna be like I don't know. <laughs> so she's invited Juliet over. Juliet, I think, would give her some sound advice. Juliet doesn't seem the type who minces a word. She's very defensive of Poppy in a nice way. <laughs> so we're gonna. Everyone's obsessed with the books in this flat, this house. We're gonna um, brighten the day a little like bit them? and discuss Can't interests. Juliet's hot-headed though. I feel like she's probably like. Oh, the noise, uh -huh. well, oh she's feeling flirty. That. No, no, we're not really into that, Juliet. Well, we well, like boy, you as a friend. <laughs> we're gonna brighten her day a little Stop bit and share a secret with her. <laughs> secret being that we travelled to an alien world the other day. <laughs> Juliet's gonna be like, I don't know if I believe you. Do you have any evidence? <laughs> Let's show, show her the photos. Uh, we're gonna brighten her day a little bit. I'm not sure about this friendship with Juliet. Oh, there she goes. She's telling her. Oh my god. Juliet does not look like she believes her at all. We need to show her the photos. Um, where would they be? I think they would be under friendly. Share photos. Yeah, we're gonna show her the photos. Juliet's gonna be like, really? I don't know about that. I'm not sure you should be trusting Julia, Amber. She's like, oh, you're such a player. They're totally photoshopped. What are you talking about? We're going to have a deep conversation with her. and be like, no, look, we are des definitely serious about this. Oh, we've learned that she's creative. I think she's creative and hot-headed. Let's see. She is non-committal, creative and mean. Do we really want to be friends with this girl? Give her a compliment. She's still feeling, still feeling uh, flirty, which I don't know if that's what we want. Um, we expressed some admiration for her. And we will, let's ask about other Sims. Let's ask her about what she thinks of, where is he? Let's see, what does she think of our boyfriend? Don't say anything mean now. She probably just is like, I don't really know who that is. Oops. Oops. <laughs> what am I doing? Amber, can I join family club? No, you're not related to us. <laughs> I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Spencer. Oh, she's flying with us. Are you feeling flirty? Juliet, we don't swing that way, I'm afraid. We're straight as a pin. <laughs> It's our mum that will go with anyone who shows interest. She's like, I'm doing to turn the, uh, the 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 radio on just to get rid of some of this awkwardness because you're flirting with us and we're not feeling that comfortable about it. Talk about girl cheese. Right, let's quickly go and use the bathroom. And oh, is that Spencer? No, it's Calvin. <laughs> I was like, oh, Spencer, it's Spencer. We're going to come and work on our woodworking skill. We're going to come and make a... Um, let's do a gra garden planter. Let's get to that level nine, please. What else do we have to do in this generation? I think we have to um, open up the secret place in uh, Oasis Springs, which needs level 10 of rocket science. I can't remember... <laughs> rocket science. It needs level 10 of handiness. I don't know what else we have to do in this gen. I know we have to explore six exam. I know we have to max the rocket science skill, so... We've definitely done all that, which is good. 
Juliet, you're talking to yourself. You're a little bit cray girl, aren't you? Definitely a little bit. <laughs> She's done her garden planter. I don't think that really helped with her her handiness. Maybe we could like upgrade some of the household objects. Let's see. Um, let's do with the bathroom because they're probably a bit basic. Upgrade to uh, superior flush. There we go. Amber's finished installing the upgrade. Cool. Right, we'll just do this dishwasher. <laughs> I really don't like the look of her with a spanner in the middle of the dishwasher, but we'll see. Come on, level nine. Yes. Amber can now perform advanced upgrades on electronic objects. She can also craft tubs on the woodworking table. Let's have it. Let's give that a go then. Um, is that a furniture? Uh, oh my gosh, she's gonna make a bathtub? Really? I'm intrigued about this one. <laughs> oh my god, is this gonna be a tub? Really? Oh, she apparently she's done it. <laughs> really? She's like made a woodwork. Oh, right. Oh my god, it's actually. <laughs> It's not that bad. Bless her. What does it say? Hygiene 4, stress relief 3, uncomfortable relief 3, reliability 8. Bathe like they did in the olden days, surrounded by wood. What better way to get close to natural purity than to relax in a tub made of trees? 755 simoleons. I didn't think you could make this much out of woodworking, but apparently you can. So we're going to invite over Spencer. Oh, let's uh, quickly scavenge for parts. We don't want, like, junk in our house when he comes over. Bit awkward, right? Let's throw that away. And then we're gonna go invite Spencer in. Where is he? Oh, he's at the door. Awesome. We're going to invite to stay the night. Have a little sleepover. There we go. We're gonna invite him to stay with us. All good. All good. Oh. You want to stay over tonight? I'll cook you some Happy tea. Oh, she, she's got the heart yeah, yeah. On, her, on her mind already. <laughs> We're going to serve dinner. We're going to serve some spaghetti. Did he say yes? A sleepover sounds great, of course. Okay, these two get on like a house on fire. I love it. She's going to prepare some spaghetti. Try and put her guilty mind at ease. Spencer, you can come in. Spencer, you can come in the house. <laughs> I love the fact he's a little bit socially awkward because he doesn't quite get everything because he's an alien. I <laughs> love that. Okay. Let's serve this dinner up. Let's call him to the meal. She's like, come on, come and grab your spaghetti. Let's sit. Oh, we could set the table with... Uh, oh, it's too late. He's already sat down. Let's sit at the table with him and eat our spaghetti. I don't know if she's a good cook. It's excellent quality, nice job. Um, we're going to compliment his little appearance. Get them both in a flirty mood. We're gonna blow him a kiss. Uh-huh. And we're going to Ibana wig on. Oh, uh, Flirt with him a little bit. Look at him, he just wolfed down that spaghetti. He was like, oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> you probably shouldn't have a picture of her and Riley on the wall. It's probably a little bit inappropriate. I mean they are friends. Let's Let's just say they're friends. We're gonna um, keep the pictures in our mind. These photos in our little imaginations, because we can't do anything for, are going to be in her bedside drawer that she's hidden away. I think I wanna get her like a little diary as well. Oh, she already has one, she already has one. She can write in her little diary that she is feeling exceptionally guilty. We're going to open this up and we're going to take out our little galaxy diary and put it in our inventory and maybe um, she can write in, her, in there how she's feeling about the situation. She's going to go take a shower and then I think these two are going to have a little romantic evening in together for sure. And you know what I'm gonna do? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I might have woohoo because they have woohooed in the rocket ship, but they haven't woohooed in bed just yet. So maybe we'll have them do that. He's like, oh, I'm off to bed. Night night. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a shower meanwhile, and then I think we kind of want to. Um, yeah, we kind of wanna. It's a bit early to be in bed, Spencer. Let's wake him up. Let's go watch a movie together. Watch a movie, watch Simda with uh, Spencer. Romaine's always hanging around, it's kind of a bit weird. Let's turn that music off if we're gonna watch a movie. Yeah, 
yeah, we're gonna come and snuggle. We haven't got a pop drawn maker. Uh, Amber, you're supposed to sit next to him on the sofa, honey. Flares, let's make out. They're not even watching the movie. They're just like making out. He's in his pyjamas, which is so cute. Aww. I don't even know if this is a romantic film. It kind of looks like it is. Oh, it's like he's an artist. He's playing off that, um, that, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Titanic moment, I think. I love these two so much. What else can we do? Um, can we snuggle? Tickle him. <laughs> the movie's gonna finish soon, guys. You haven't actually watched any of it. <laughs> uh, what else can we do? We can just give him a little kiss. He's like, no, enough, enough. I can't breathe. Whisper sweet nothings. And we're going to let's cuddle, cuddle whilst watching a movie. Yes. Cuddle up on the sofa while watching that movie. I love it. It's definitely Simba. She's swiping. Swiping all the way. You gonna cuddle, guys? Oh, look at him. He's just like, oh, I'm so tired. Um, I want to... Can we not do this? I've never seen that cuddle while watching a movie. What's that alien thing I just saw? Discuss weird atmospheric pressure. Okay, um, let's do that. Corba. I love that he, she's just so open about him being an alien. She just doesn't care whatsoever. Look at these two in the movie, all romantic and our two all romantic. We're gonna have them. Oh, no, we're gonna have a moo -hoo. We're not ready for that. Plus, he may not even be sticking around that long, so they're definitely not gonna have a baby. Right this minute, we're gonna go and woo -hoo. Why can't we woo -hoo? Oh no, woo -hoo is Spencer. Can we not? Oh, hopefully we can. Oh, she can't? Is it because of that desk? I do need to sort this out, actually. Where else could I put this? I think if I move that and move the umbrella stand there, and then this desk can just go in the corner here. Hopefully that's going to be okay. Okay, let's try this one more time. We're going to woohoo with Spencer. <laughs> oh, bless her. Let's go do the do, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this part. I think this part's gonna be a little bit longer than I anticipated, <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and end this part here. If you enjoyed it, do leave a big thumbs up. Don't forget to, get to drop any comments or suggestions down below. What do you think about Amber not telling Spencer? Do you think this, the guilt is gonna get to her, or do you think she's right in waiting until the rocket's prepared? She will tell him, she keeps telling herself, that she'll tell him when the rocket's ready. We'll have to see how that plays out. And do you think Juliet was a trustworthy person for us to tell our secret to? Or do you think that's going to come back to bite Amber as well? <laughs> do leave a big thumbs, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next part. Bye, everyone.